the next value that we are going to calculate is ibtida and for that first of all again i will go back to my chart of accounts and see how we can do that so here in the chart of accounts you can see that i cannot work on the class level if i try to do that i will end up directly at the operating profit so we should be going to subclass rather and for that i will be considering only these three values i mean i will say that please calculate the sum of values where subclass is sales cost of sales and finally operating expenses so these three values have to be considered let us move, move to the tableau and let us calculate the uh, let us add the calculated field now for that i will go to this analysis tab here and i will say create calculated field and i will name this as ebitda and let us start typing the same type of formula so i will start with the sum function and you know we have to write an if function now so i will say sum f the subclass the subclass level equals now of course we have to write that in the same fashion that we have mentioned in our chart of accounts so open the inverted commas and write sales first and then you know if this condition is not met of course let us first uh, write complete this formula so sum f subclass equals sales then amount and if that condition is not met then we will go to else if and i'm just taking this else if to the second line but that, well that doesn't really matter but it is uh, for our own better understanding so else if subclass again subclass equals cost of sales so just make sure that we are typing the same style i mean the s should be capital in the data as well if you want to use the capital here so let us complete that then amount and let us add another else if so i will say as if if subclass equals subclass equals operating expenses then amount and finally i will say else zero and then i will also end this statement and now finally i will close the brackets so i will close this bracket one time and you can see that this calculation is valid so i will simply press ok now and you can see that the ibtida value has been added here so all i need to do is i need to drag this value from here to this measure values and this value has been added now let us go back to our dashboard and check this value as well so 1147805 that is here 200774 double double and 2237006 so we have the correct ibtida values that we have calculated now and finally we are only left with one value and that is pbit let us do that in the next lecture